I want to start off this video with a few questions. Are you single right now? Do you possibly not have many good friends? Do you see other people out holding hands, kissing, posting on Instagram that they're in the Bahamas in a great relationship, kissing on the sand? Do you see everyone else in love and having attracted love into their life and you wonder, why haven't I found my soulmate yet? Why am I still single? Where's my dream boyfriend? Where's my dream girlfriend? Oh, that girl's surrounded with a ton of incredible friends and a super supportive family. Why am I always over here feeling alone and single and not supported? If you answered yes to any of those questions, I got you. This is the video for you. I'm so excited that you guys are here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. If you are just passing by, I'm Jordan. I would love to have you subscribe here to my channel and be a resource for you for helping you cultivate your dream life and realizing that you are so worthy and so capable of attracting anything into your life that you desire. You can have anything in this world that you want if you're willing to work hard enough and truly believe that you already possess the capabilities within you to manifest your dream life. So you guys know I'm huge on the law of attraction and manifesting and like attracts like and being on that high positive frequency and vibration to attract anything good and success and love into your life. But today in particular, we're going to be talking about manifesting your dream husband, wife, soulmate, that partner that you've been missing. And there is something to be said about being single and having the time to really truly love the person that you are because I'm someone that believes, I know it's like really cool but they're like, oh, you got to love yourself before you can love anyone else. But that's so true. I think that if you do not truly believe in and recognize the value that you have as a human or a man or a woman, you are not fully ready and capable to give love to someone else until you can realize those incredible, awesome traits about yourself and realize that you are so worthy of an incredible love. And you are so much better than a toxic relationship, a relationship that mentally abuses you or God forbid, physically abuses you, someone who brings you down. Down. You don't deserve that. There is so much better for you out there in the world if you're willing to let go of something like that. The universe, God, whatever higher power you believe in will bring you something so much better if you have the courage to let something like that go. I know because I've done it. I have manifested some incredible friendships into my life, which I'm so grateful for. And I truly feel that I know how and that I have a lot of value to give you guys on this topic. If you followed my channel for a while, um, you'll know that I am currently single. I have been through two pretty severe heartbreaks in my life and now looking back after studying the law of attraction and how we attract the people into our life who possess certain like personality traits and qualities I can kind of pinpoint why I was maybe attracting those wrong people into my life and I can change those behaviors to now attract the absolute most incredible man who I've ever met I truly believe that my next relationship is going to be my soulmate the person that I marry and that I am with literally forever until I pass away. And that will be such an incredible, mature, honest, just amazing, responsible father figure for my son because that's what I want. And I've realized that if that's the type of person I want to go after and I want to attract and manifest into my life, I can't entertain anything else. I know it gets like you get lonely, you want to go out with friends, you got like the ex hitting you up, like what you doing tonight, girl? You know, the booty calls. You can't entertain any of that. If there's something something of a higher level and higher quality and something more that you want in your heart long term do not entertain the bullshit or like someone who you truly know is not right for you otherwise you're not opening up that path for the true right person to come into your life so i actually made a list for myself of the dream husband that i am currently manifesting and attracting into my life all right so i have a few solid tips for you guys to truly manifest this incredible love into your life that you've been desiring and things that i truly feel will help you do that um, so I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I'm doing because like I said, I am currently manifesting my next relationship to be my last one, to just be so incredible and the dream husband that I've been waiting for. And the very first tip that I truly feel you need to do is get clear on what you want. And in my opinion, in with manifesting and with the law of attraction, instead of trying to attract a specific person or how someone physically looks, you wanna focus on how that person's going to make you feel and the qualities the, and the attributes as a person that they have. And you truly need to feel confident that you are capable enough of attracting that high quality and high level of a person into your life. So for example, I'm going to share with you guys what I did. You guys already know through the law of attraction and plenty of other practices that I've read and that are proven, it is so much more likely for something to manifest into your life if you visualize it every single day, if you write it down. I truly believe that what you write down comes true. I just did a video all about my vision board, putting pictures on there of things that I want to manifest and attract this year, what level of success I want. I put that up in my room. There's pictures on my fridge of it. Like 
everywhere you go throughout your house, at your work, in your work, if you have like a little cubicle, put pictures up of people who are in love, who are happy, because by you looking at that every day, you're attracting that kind of love and happiness into your own life. And I believe 100% in if you write something down, it will come true. So I put down right here um, what I would like to attract for my future husband and I wanted to share it with you guys because I highly recommend that you make a list, again, of the qualities and the personality traits of the person you'd like to attract. Don't necessarily write down physical things because I think that's, I mean, everyone has their own opinion, but I think that's very limiting and you could be completely limiting or blocking out an incredible person the universe has waiting for you just because they don't fit up to all those physical qualifications that you have. And I truly believe that the person who's meant for you, who you end up with anyways, will of course be physically attractive to you. So for example, um, I have this on my fridge. I look at it every single day and at the very top it says, my perfect husband is coming to me. I don't say I want to have a perfect husband or one day maybe my husband will come. I put it down as an affirmation. My perfect husband is coming to me. He is on the way. And when the timing is right, we will meet. It will be this incredible relationship so much better than I could have ever asked for. So that's really big at the top. And then I put the things that I want him to be and that he is. Like this man is already out there somewhere possessing, you know, these traits. I put he is kind, honest, mature, loving, passionate, driven, motivated, understanding, funny, attractive, smart, and educated. So I just put those on one side of the page. And then you also want to put how this person or how this relationship is going to make you feel. And then you need to do things now that make you feel that way. So you can get yourself on that higher frequency and higher vibration. So you're attracting someone of that caliber into your life. So I put Basically, you wanna just close your eyes, again, with the visualization, and imagine how would you feel every single day if you already had your dream relationship right now? Say you were married or you had that dream boyfriend or that soulmate, how would you feel? You would probably feel so loved and fulfilled and comforted and safe and secure. You want to get on that vibration of feeling all of those things right now, even before that relationship manifests into your life. So you need to do other things on a daily basis that make you feel loved, fulfilled, secure, comforted. So then again, you're already on that high vibration and the universe can bring that person into your life. So I put on here for me personally, he makes me feel safe, beautiful, loved, valuable, appreciated, secure, hopeful, excited, and attractive. So I kind of put that in two columns. And then on the bottom, I also put, he plans dates and outings without me knowing. He's always surprising me. He makes me laugh and supports my dreams and goals. He treats Christian as his own. I highlighted that because that is a huge one for me. You guys know Christian is my world. I would never date someone unless they are incredible to Christian. No one, of course, has to be his dad because they're not. But someone who genuinely wants to be a positive male Father figure and role for him is incredibly important to me. So I highlighted that one. He treats Christian as his own. He loves him, protects him, sets an incredible example as a father figure. He fits into our family effortlessly. And I circled effortlessly. I don't personally believe the relationship for you that's meant to be your soulmate, it should be effortless. Yes, everyone has issues and maybe fights and things that you need to work through as a couple, but I truly believe I have seen so many friends and family and also myself in previous relationships where I tried so, so hard to make things work and I moved my entire life around and where I lived and I did so many things to alter my life so I would be the right girl for someone else and it just wasn't working. When you mess with the universe and it's planned for you, it just, you'll realize in the end it doesn't work out. So I think that if it's truly the right person, you're gonna find that it's gonna, all the puzzle pieces are just gonna fit kind of effortlessly. So I put, he fits into our family effortlessly. He has been manifesting us and us him. That's a big one. I truly feel like there's a man out there, like the man version of me out there who believes in the law of attraction and positivity and who has just been waiting for the right woman and that, you know, I have also been waiting for the right man and when the time is right, you know, we're, we've both been manifesting each other basically. Um, he is manifesting us and us him. He arrives in perfect timing. I am so grateful for my husband. That's another huge tip I have for you guys is to be grateful for the relationship before it manifests into your life. Before you're even in a relationship with this person, before you've even met them, be grateful because you know this relationship is on the way. 
It's another thing people sometimes can't grasp being grateful for something they physically can't hold in their hand yet, but this is a huge one with the law of attraction and acting as if and being so confident in your heart and in your mind that you are worthy of that incredible relationship and that you know it's on the way and that at the perfect timing, you are going to meet that person. I was actually just talking to my friend Morgan this past weekend. We went to LA together and we were talking about relationships and I told her a quote that really stuck out to me and it's, what is truly meant for you will not pass you. Like, just take a moment, let that sink in. What is truly meant for you will not pass you. So no matter what you do, you could rearrange your life, you can move states to be with someone, you can, like, you could do all these crazy things, like I was saying before, trying to make it work super hard, and it might still not work if that person is truly not meant for you. The one, if you broke up with someone or they broke up with you and you truly feel in your heart that that was your soulmate and you're, you're gonna be together forever, you don't need to stress or worry about it because what's meant to be yours, it's already yours and it'll come back around when the time is right. Maybe that person has some growing up to do or he needs to, he or she needs to have a little bit of time alone for personal growth and personal development. They'll come back around in your life and you'll meet again when the time is right, if that is the right relationship for you. I believe that 100%. Another huge tip for you guys to manifest love and a relationship into your life, whatever qualities you want that partner to have, I truly believe a million percent, you need to possess those qualities yourself and you need to emit those qualities out into the world and out into the universe every single day. So if you want someone who's funny and entertaining and loving and makes you smile and makes you laugh, you need to be that person. Go out and meet new people every single day. Even the lady at the grocery store, you know, giving you your food, ringing up your stuff. Make her laugh, make her smile, make her day. The way that you want other people to make you feel, you need to start making other people feel that way so then that love can manifest into your life. Does that make sense? Like everything that you are going after that you want your dream husband to have, you want him to be like attractive and funny and you want him to make you feel sexy, you need to make other people feel that way because you guys have to meet on that same exact vibration. You need to put out whatever you want to attract because you're going to attract what you are. We attract what we are, right? That's why we attract like-minded friends with the same interests, because we're the same. So if you want to attract a man like me, I want to attract like the ultimate man version of me. I want to attract someone who's hardworking, who makes me feel amazing. Like I said, who's a great role model for Christian, who wants to maybe build his business or believes in the law of attraction. So I need to consciously make an effort to do and be those things every single day so I can attract someone on the exact same vibration. All right, so I'm gonna cut it off there because my camera's about to die and I know this video is already pretty long, but those are pretty much, that's pretty much it for my top tips to absolutely manifest an incredible love into your life, which again, you can use for attracting friends, boyfriend, relationship, really anything. And we all know you can manifest your dream life. This doesn't just apply to the category of love. You can manifest your dream business, success in your home, literally everything. If you're new to my channel, I have tons more videos on the law of attraction and just manifesting your dream life in general. I have a whole girl boss series. I would love if you checked out the videos. It would mean a lot to me. I'm very appreciative that you're here and that you guys feel that I have enough value to give you and I can my channel can just be a resource for you is such an incredible feeling and I just want to let you know in every video how truly grateful I am I would love to have you subscribe give this video a like I'll leave my social media down below be sure to follow my Instagram if you're into this type of video I post a lot of inspirational quotes every day and podcasts and stuff that I'm listening to that can also be awesome resources for you guys so yeah be sure to subscribe thank you for being here thank you for watching I love you guys hope you have an incredible week and I will see you on Thursday for another new video.